Hello and welcome to this Pure Beginners Yoga class. It's for anybody who would like to practice but is unable, for instance, to kneel in this way because of knee issues or has hip issues. So we'll be using a chair and it doesn't need to be a yoga chair because I'm assuming that if you're a pure beginner, you don't have a yoga chair. All you need to do is find a chair from around your house that has a flat seat and some kind of a back. It doesn't have to be an open back, just obviously some kind of a back. And a couple of blankets. And what else? A couple of pillows from around your house. We'll use bolsters, you can use bed pillows and pile them up. And once you've got all of that, find a place in your house where you have access to a wall and set yourself up just like I have. And then place your chair right up against the wall so that it's firm. And we will start sitting on the chair and opening our space. So sitting on our chairs and looking at our legs and noticing where our feet are. Most of us tend to sit like this. And if you look at the angle of the knee, the calf is diagonalizing back and it's kind of overextending on the front. And it seems like nothing, but over time, that is not good for the knee. So when we start our practice, we want to be mindful of how we place ourselves. So here I'm going to bring my feet forward so that now my knee is over my heels, not over the front foot. Then let's look at our feet and place them. Widen your toes apart as much as you can. And then look at the inner arches of your feet and lift the inner arches up. This is a place where a lot of people collapse. The inner arches are collapsing, the inner ankles are collapsing, and we want to reclaim that natural arch and find the firmness of the outside edge of the foot. And then we are sitting up and with our hands, we are grabbing each of our buttocks and moving them apart from each other several times because it's always on the second or third time that you really feel the space being made. And now there's an awareness of the left buttock, the right buttock, the left hip, the right hip, and a little space in between. And therefore there's an awareness of the left leg coming into the left hip and the right leg coming into the right hip. So we're starting to gently divide the body so that we can become more sensitive, feel it and work with it more intimately. So sitting up tall and straight, another very common thing in life is the closing of the center chest. So in yoga, of course, we're going to try to combat that tendency and reopen the center chest the heart center energy. So start by rolling the front shoulders back. So much tension is held in those shoulders and in the trapezius muscles and neck. Let's start to clear that a little bit physically. And at the same time, you'll see and feel that your chest is opening. Have the sides of the neck as even as possible and closing the eyes. And just beginning to find your breath, the inhale, the exhale, without adjusting it, just observing your breath right now as it is today. And then taking the time, three adjectives to describe your breath today. Three words that will describe how the breath feels to you today. And now lifting the hands and placing them one on top of the other over the center of the chest, the heart center. And begin to send all of your attention, all of your breath to this area. Each inhale, each exhale, how does that feel inside? How does that feel outside? And now fold and press the palms together. And from this new open heart space, let us begin with one more. Inhale. Hands with 
you see. The eyelids opening. And now that we've made our space sacred in all ways, let us begin. So we're going to keep the chair against the wall so that it feels more stable for you. And let's spread the feet the width of the mat. Make sure that your feet are parallel and the inner arches are lifting. And coming forward, placing the hands on the chair. Walking the hands forward. And then lowering the head down, finding Ardha Uttanasana. Breathing. Keep looking at your feet to check when the inner arches are dropping, when the inner ankles have that tendency to drop, and relift them and press into the outside edges of the feet and firmly into the heels. And then looking up, bringing the hands back, bending the knees, and coming to stand up. All right, now we're going to do the right leg forward and the left leg back. Just going to tie this t-shirt up so that you can see cleaner lines rather than baggy t-shirts. Okay, so right leg forward, left leg back. Turn this back foot in and turn your hips to the chair. Hands on the chair. Keep pressing into the back heel. Even if it's not coming to the mat yet, Keep pressing into it, stretching out the back of the calf, stretching out the back of the heel, having that as a constant opening. And with the hips facing the chair, inhale. And exhale, straighten that front leg as best as you can. And then bend the legs, inhale. And exhale, straighten. One more time, bend the leg, inhale. And exhale, straighten. And now stretch the arms forward. If they can move forward, go ahead and do that. And lower the head down so the ears are in line with your inner arms. Connect with your breath. The breath will help you to stay in the pose and to observe the pose. And also to deal with the pains of the opening. Use your eyes to check your back foot. Is the heel pressing down? Use your eyes to check your front foot. Are you lifting the toes up? Can you re-press the ball of the foot down if the toes are lifting up? And then looking up, bringing the hands in, bending the knee, and coming back out. All right, changing sides. Left leg forward, right leg back. Turn this back foot in, which helps the hips to really face the chair. Bend this front knee, placing the hands on the chair. And with your hands, turn your hips even more. Now press into that back heel. Feel the back of the leg opening. Press the heel down. Okay, we're going to straighten that front leg now. So inhale. And exhale, extend. Bending, inhale, and with the exhale, extend. One last time, bending, and with the exhale, extend. And if the hands can walk forward, walk them forward. Stretch the arms as best as you can, and lower the head down. Don't push the head further forward, just line the ears up with the inner arms. Breathe. And with your eyes, check the back foot. Is the heel still trying to press down? And with your eyes, check the front foot. Are you veering off to the outside edge of the foot because it's pulling the back of the leg? Try to re-press the ball of the foot down. And then looking up, bending the front knee. Hands coming back. And standing up. And one more time, Ardha Uttanasana. So widen your feet, the width of the mat. Don't be shy, really take up that whole width. Turn the toes a little bit in towards each other and widen your heels apart a little bit. And then bend the knees, place the hands on the chair and straighten the legs. Walk the hands forward. 
Lower the head down and enter the waves of breath. No matter what you're feeling, start first with the breath. And through the breath now, begin to feel your body. How do the feet feel? How are they pressing down? Is one foot pressing down more than the other? If that's so, try to even out the pressure so that you're using both feet, both legs in an even way. Keep breathing, full deep inhales and exhales that fill the lungs, that broaden the ribs, that relax tension. And then looking up, bending the knees as the hands come back and coming to stand up. And we're gonna come and sit back on our chair. So as we sit, Reminding ourselves to look at how we're sitting, how the feet are, if the knees are over the heels, and then widening those sit bones apart so that we feel the left and right side starting to dissect the body. Sitting tall and straight, this consciousness in the center of the heart that it's lifting, that it's opening. Now bring the arms in front, cross your thumbs together and really pull, creates a traction point. Spread the fingers widely. Keep your legs parallel. Don't let the knees come in. And inhale and lift the arms up. Keep stretching up to the sky. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Look up to the sky with the eyes. Make the eyes bright and wide, open. And then bring the arms down and change the cross of the thumbs. Respread the fingers, energy everywhere. And inhale and lift the arms up again. Keep feeling your feet as you lift the arms, connecting the dots of the body together, linking earth to sky. Stretch up, reach up, open those eyes even wider. That's it, and two, and one. Coming back down and releasing. Okay, we're now going to stand up and we're going to move the chair and use the wall on our back foot for a little exploration of Utita Tripanasana, triangle pose. So we're going to turn the chair around this way and we'll be having our back foot against the wall. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the outside edge of our left foot particularly the outer heel right here, pressing against the wall. And then this front foot, we move the chair, faces forward, and I want you to look and with your eyes draw a line. The heel wants to line up to the arch of the back foot. And now I'm going to move my chair in, yours will be there. So now reach and see if your hand can reach the chair. If it can't reach the chair, you want to hit pause on me and grab something to make a little bit of height so that you can. And then place the hand on the chair and stretch the left arm and the left hand to the wall. Breathing here, feeling. And trying to keep the outside edge of that back foot firm against the wall. So that requires lifting the inner arch of the back foot and the inner ankle of the back foot continually to have an even firm pressure of the outside edge of the back foot to the wall. Keep breathing. Now move this top arm on the wall back and let your body follow that so you feel that there's a twist. The legs are firm, but you're twisting and the right abdomen is going to the left. The chest is opening to the sky. Now turn the head down to look at the chair, but keep twisting to the left. That's it, breathing with all of that. And three, and two, and one. Looking forward again, and coming back up. And let's change sides. That's our first Trikonasana. So now it's the outside edge of the right foot against the wall, particularly the outer heel right there. Really keeping that pressure there. And the left leg stepping forward. And just check with your eyes that the heel 
is lined up to the arch of the foot. Lift the inner ankle, lift the inner arch, and make the outside edge of that foot firm. And then windmilling down, hands to the chair, and extend the back arm and hand to the wall. And begin to breathe and feel. And see if you're able to keep a constant pressure with the outside edge of that back foot against the wall. So keep lifting the inner arch of the foot, lifting the inner ankle and finding the outer edge of the foot, pressing it. And now this top hand against the wall, walk it back and press into the hand on the chair to help your trunk follow that arm. But turn your head down to look at the chair. So there's no strain in the neck. We're learning to twist the trunk without involving the neck. That's quite tricky to do. So keep turning and twisting. The bottom abdomen is rolling to the top abdomen. The chest is opening to the sky. Breathe. And then looking forward. And coming back up. Okay, let's take our chair and move it back to the wall for stability. And now the right side of my body is facing the wall and I'm lifting the right leg up and placing the foot on the chair. You can use your hands to help you get there. So same principle, the knee over the heel. So you want to avoid this action. Having the knee right over the heel and then look at your standing leg and check your foot. Make sure it's not doing that. Make sure it's not doing that. Wants to face straight forward and make sure it's not doing this. The arch collapsing. Lift the arch of the foot. Reclaim the healthiness of that. Push into the outside edge of the foot. Now the other tendency is for people to push their knees back when they want a straight leg. And that just leads to overextension of the knee. I want you instead to look at your kneecap and try to get these quadricep muscles to grip the kneecap up. So don't push it back, but grip up. Ready? Here we go. And then release it and re-grip and release and re-grip and keep it gripped as often as possible. You'll have to come back to it to remind yourself to grip it. Okay, now let's look at this leg. Push into the outside edge of this foot so that the inner knee opens. And when you push into the outside edge of the foot, the arch of your foot magically lifts up. So many good things happening all in one little alignment there. Finding the outer edge of the foot, the inner knee opening as much as possible. The hand on the wall for stability. Now lean towards the wall with your trunk and stretch your arm up. That's it, get that leg You're starting to open all of the armpit, the side ribs. And then this arm like this, elbow close in, inhale, and exhale, stretch the waist. Don't let that knee fall in, and arm back in, inhale, and exhale, stretch the waist. Keep pushing into the outside edge of that foot and gripping the standing leg, and back in, last and final time, inhale, and exhale, stretching, Directionalize those legs, breathe, and try and twist and turn the chest up to the sky. And two, and one, bending the arm back in, and coming back up, check your leg, check your knee, and then bringing it down, and line the feet up, take a breath here. Relax the shoulders, relax the effort, relax the face. All right, changing sides. So turning around, it's now the left side of my body closest to the wall. The right leg is my standing leg. So we're going to lift our left leg up and place it on the chair. And then take the time to adjust so that our knee is over the heel. The toes are facing the wall. Press into the outside edge of this foot, which lifts your inner arch and keeps the inner knee opening. So it's opening the hips as well. Hand on the wall for stability. Now look at your standing foot, your standing leg. Check that the arches aren't collapsing, that it's facing straight forward. And then look at your knee and try to grip it up with the quadriceps. Grip 
and release. Grip up and release. Grip up and now hold that grip and begin to bring the trunk towards the wall as you walk the hands up higher. Watch for that knee, don't let it roll in. Keep pressing into the outside edge of the foot. Breathing, lengthening. And now this back arm, the elbow in, preparing to extend, inhale. And with the exhale, extend. And back in, inhale. And with the exhale, extend. Last one, inhale. And with the exhale, extend. Breathing here. Try to press and turn the chest open to the sky. Keep pressing to the outside edge of that left foot. And two. And one. Bend the elbow back in. Hands to the hip. Gently coming up. And bringing the foot to Tadasana. Roll the shoulders back. Deep inhalation. Deep exhalation. Okay. Let's come back to sit on our chair. Lining our feet up again. Parallel. The inner arch is lifting. The outside edges of the feet doing their job. Here too. Pressing down to prevent the collapse of the legs. And then separating our sit bones apart. Bringing the arms in front again, this time interlocking the fingers and turning the palms open and extend the arms until they're straight in line with the shoulders. And then again, bend the arms, inhale and extend. And again, bend the elbows, inhale and extend. And then bend the arms back in, release. And we're going to change the interlock of the fingers so the other little finger will be on the bottom. So just change the interlock and turn the palms open. The thumbs are pressing against each other. And now bring the hands back to the center chest. The elbows are bent. Check with your feet, your knees, your thighs. Inhale and exhale, extend. Bending back in, inhale. And exhale, extend. Bending back in, inhale. And exhale, extend. Push up through the heels of the hands. And then back in. And release it. All right, now we're going to take a bolster or whatever cushions you're using as a bolster and bring it back to the chair. We're going to open the outer hips a little bit. So we're going to turn this chair around. Not too far away. Our hands won't be able to reach the wall. You can always adjust after. And the bolster or your cushions are going to go on the seat of your chair. So let me just turn this way to show you what we're going to do from the front side before we go into it. You'll position your knees over your feet and then you'll lift your right leg up and place the outer ankle right here on this left leg. And then we'll try to roll the inner groin open. So that's why we're taking some height to help the hips relax more, which will help the knees relax more. And then we'll come forward with our hands to the wall. So facing the wall, <clears throat> start off with superbly aligned thighs, knees and feet. And now lift the right leg up and place the outer right ankle on the left thigh. Pull the toes back, have expression and intelligence in the feet. Roll the inner groin open. You can use your hand to help the thigh to feel that action. We have to teach that action to it. And then hands to the wall. Lower the head so the ears are in line with the inner arms. Connect with the cycles of your breath again. Long, deep inhalations and exhalations. And push your fingertips so that you can push the hips back. So see how that feels just perfect. 
As you push into the wall with your fingertips and push the hips back, you get a more profound opening. Keep breathing, deep inhalations, deep exhalations. If you're able to, see if your hands could come up a little bit higher and see how beautifully that opens the armpit chest. Think of all the lymph nodes we have there, the side ribs, the side of the breasts. Keep breathing into those areas that are being exposed. Bring that new, fresh, pranic energy. And keep pushing into the fingertips to push the hips back. And then coming up, and let's take this foot down and lift the left leg up. So using your hands if you need to, lifting the leg, placing the outer ankle right on the front, and activate the foot, pull the toes back, and push through the ball of the foot. So we bring more presence to our feet, poor feet. We use them all day long. They need more attunement, more sensitivity. So let's roll the inner groins open. And even if you don't feel, you don't understand it, just use your hand and roll the inner groin to the outer groin, and your cells are going to remember that. Starting to teach a kind of directionalization of the body. And once that's in place, let's bring the fingertips to the wall. Inhale. And with an exhale, entering the pose, see if your hands could come up higher. And really try to feel the passage of the breath. What does the inhale feel like inside? Where can you feel it reaching? And when you exhale, keep trying to move the trapezius muscles down the back. They have a tendency to creep up towards the ears. So keep clearing that space. And keep relaxing the brain also with each exhale. And also feeling the hip open a little bit more with each exhale. And then looking up, hands coming back down, and foot to the floor. All right, let's turn our chair around again now. And we're going to use it a little bit differently. So you're going to turn it this way. So the side of your chair, whatever chair it is, the side that is facing the wall. And the bolsters or your cushions just down to the side for now and coming to sit on the chair, bringing it right Check your knees over your heels, lift the inner arches, press into the outer feet. Okay, we're turning and twisting to the wall. So if you're too far away, nudge in. You really want to be able to, both hands find the wall and turn and twist. And when you twist, don't twist with the chest closed to the sky. Press into the hands to help the chest to lift and turn and twist. Each exhale. Now turn your head back to the front, but keep twisting to the right. And then untwisting. And of course, we're going to change sides. So, turning the chair around, using the wall for our twists, placing our feet mindfully, making sure the outside edges of the feet have found their vocation right now. And then turning and twisting. Both hands have a purpose, they press in different ways, and they both help you to turn and twist. And now turn the head forward, away from the left, and continue to turn and twist to the left. And then untwisting and coming back to the front. Okay, you can see how delicious that gentle twist is. And now 
We're going to sit on our chair and take the bolster, have it or your cushions and have them in front. They want to be underneath the calf. And then we want to separate our feet so they're hip distance apart. Press the heels down, pull the toes back. With your hands, widen the buttocks apart and sit right on the edge of the chair. If it hurts, if it's sharp, you can always take a blanket, have something a little bit soft there for you. Keep pulling the toes back, look at your legs, straighten the legs. The bolster will help stop you from over extending the backs of the knees here. So remember to try to grip the knees up with the quadriceps, grip, and at the same time, press the thighs down. The hands are on the seat, the front shoulders are rolling back and the chest is opening. Look at your feet, push forward through the balls of the feet and pull the toes back and stretch them. Press the heels down, wrap the muscles around the leg bones, feel that firmness and purposefully re-roll your shoulders back. Get that space in the chest, that centering of the heart area. And now we're going to bring the feet back towards each other. And we're going to lift the right leg up. You can use your hands to do that and place that foot on the bolster. Holding the seat with your hands. Make sure this left leg doesn't roll open. Keep the toes up, the kneecap facing the sky. And extending forward and back up. And forward and back up. One more time. And forward and back up. And now let's Open this leg to the right, so press into the heel, lift the foot up, and turn it open. Same action, keep this left leg as it is. Push into the outside edge of this foot so the knee stays open, ready? Holding the seat, exhaling lightly forward, and back up, and forward, and back up, and forward, and back up and bringing the foot back in and extending. Pull the toes back again, press the heels down. All right, left leg, bringing the left leg up. Make sure the knee is right in the line with the hip. Hold the seat, roll the shoulders back to open the chest more. Inhale and exhale and back up. And exhale, keep your right foot, your right leg engaged, and back up. And exhale. And then coming back up. All right, let's turn this left foot open. So lift the foot, open the foot, widening a little bit, and press into the outside edge of the foot so you feel the knee opening, the groin opening. And breathing, inhale and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, last one, and exhale, and then coming back up, bringing the foot in, and re-extending. We can just bring this bolster closer for now, and let's widen the legs apart. Now, remember to be sitting on the edge of the chair, otherwise it becomes hard because your thighs are blocked by the chair seat. With your hands, widen and pull the buttocks back and out to the side. Kneecaps are facing the sky. Don't let them roll in, don't let them roll out, which is the easiest way to let them roll. You have to slightly roll the thighs in so the kneecaps face the sky, the heels down, pull the toes back especially the outside edge of the feet. It's called the outer skirting from the little toe to the outer heel. Pull the outer skirting of the feet back to the outer hips. Hands on the seat. Roll your shoulders back. Exaggerate that movement and exaggerate the opening of the chest. Breathing here. Deep inhale. 
Deep exhale. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. One more time. Deep inhale. Lift the center chest to the sky. Deep exhale. And we're now going to bend our knees and bring the feet back in. We're almost there. Just going to end with a last little Balakonasana on the bolster to start to open the feet a little bit. So the feet will be like this, or as much as possible like this, on the bolster. And again, coming to the edge of the chair. Now, if you're able to, you're pressing down. The thumb is on the inside, the fingers on the out. The webbing of the hand is finding the curve of your front thigh here. And you press down and you roll the inner groins to the outer groins. And at first, you'll just feel it in the area that your hands are touching. But with time, the moment you do that, you'll actually feel the pubic bone itself broadening because you'll become used to this action of rolling open. For now, just breathing. When we haven't opened spaces in a long time, it's hard to feel them. So just trusting that this outer adjustment is leading you to that and breathing. That breath is more than oxygen. Cosmic force, prana, let it enter, let it do its work. Just receive that. And then letting go. And let's bring our feet out. And we're now going to just take a few minutes to rest, lying down with our spine on the floor. So, <clears throat> this bolster or whatever pillows you are using at home could be very useful right on the seat of your chair. And you're going to lie down. And lie right back. And just rest the calves on the cushions or like this just find a place that feels absolutely comfortable don't endure discomfort in this pose if something doesn't feel right shift and adjust because you want to be able to really relax and then the arms are extended but never in line with the shoulders because this great tension right here even though we may not feel it the shoulders hunch up so think diagonal with the arms and then take the time to roll each shoulder back. So you have to lift it up and roll it back. And this will lengthen the collarbones and bring this precious, healthy, necessary opening to the center of the heart. So when everything feels just right, then just wiggle your hips a little bit and make sure that you really feel your lower back on the ground, on the earth. And you feel your left back hip and your right back hip on the ground, on the earth. So they are being supported. You are not holding. You are doing nothing. You're just completely letting go. Exhale. Inhale. And with an exhale, the eyelids closing and entering Shasa.
very gently, just lifting the hands and folding the palms together in front of the center of the chest. And ending our practice with a loving kindness meditation. Sending our love out to all sentient beings. Loka Samastaha Sukinho Bhavantu. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. May the universe know love, may the universe know peace. And may we help all those that we connect with to feel the same. Om. And when you feel ready, the eyelids gently opening. And welcome back. Our practice is complete. Well done. As you come out, very important not to just try to sit up and create tension again. Rolling over, using the hands to come out. And Come back to this practice as often as you can. And then I'll be making another one when you're ready. So just starting to get things open, to connect breath with movement, using supports to start to access joints that need a little lift, a little height, and you'll see within a little bit there will be changes and we will change our practice accordingly. Namaste.